Hello everyone, it is now 6.16 p.m. Sorry the lighting's not great. The sun's kind of going down, but this lighting's all yellow. So this girl reached out to me on Instagram, super, super sweet, and she has this company called Trotting Treats. So she sent me some, so kind, to um, give to Chino and Nick. So I'm gonna show you what I got, and then tomorrow they can be the real test tasters, you know, because obviously I would know nothing. Hey guys, so these are the pony donuts and they are so cute. Also, I want to talk about how like they put a ton in one little packet, which is incredible because a lot of places, honestly, you buy from and they send you like three in like big packs. So they send a very good quantity. And then these are the whale you love me ones, which are so cute. Um, like seriously adorable they're packaged so nicely also by the way they were like bubble wrapped and everything when i got here it was in perfect condition um so highly recommend go check them out i'll leave their instagram and website or whatever linked down below if you want to go check them out um yeah and i'll insert the footage here of chino and nick <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is 8.04 and we're about to leave. Sorry, my hair looks ridiculous. I'm about to put a helmet on though, so we'll be hidden soon. We're heading to the horse show. I have a meter 10 class today and um, yeah, and that's it. So pretty chill day. We are ready to go. And Maya's over here being bad. Being bad, we're gonna kind of get these treats to give to the horses to try. <laughs> Okay, so everyone said they loved the voiceovers, so that's what we're gonna do. Here's me coming into the meter 10 round for the first thing. And there's Chino in his bonnet looking super cute. So, first off, you know, just make a little circle, a little tour around till the buzzer goes. And I wanted to go on a nice open stride, but not too open because I want to be able to move up to a distance. So we had a medium canter, and then you'll see I start to move up to something. So we do that, and then we just go right in between these two jumps. Um, to get to the next jump which I actually moved up to as well which was good and I kept going down the line um, thinking it was going to be really long so I actually got there quite tight to the third jump you'll see so he jumped super high um, but he still cleared it so it's fine. Then I came around got square in the corner because I needed to move up to this and then do a bending seven to the two stride I believe and it was pretty forward so I didn't want to fade out too much and get there at seven and a half because you won't get out to two. Then I just made a turn inside of here and then you come around to the Liverpool which was absolutely massive I didn't realize how big it was um to a pretty normal five to a one and then I had to land and go open up my stride a lot to this like hanger oxer you'll see which was also pretty big um and then here I just went right around the blue oxer to get to the farm vet jump And then we made it to the jump off so it starts with the same first jump unfortunately we had the rail down so that's a bummer um we still got there pretty good and then it was a bending to this hanger in eight i faded out so that i could turn right in front of this decoration thing to this skinny jump which he did really well sat back nicely and then i kind of cantered up to the oxer on the rail um, it came up nicely, but then I had to go all the way across the ring, so you'll see me start to open up my stride, and it doesn't look like we're going that fast, but it, it was a huge ring, um, and so then we ended nicely. Okay, guys, can you even see me? No. We finished. We did, like, our jump around. Tina's really good. He got to the jump off and then we had a rail, so that's all right. Um, but it was really good. I charred my thumb, though. Like, hopefully it's all right. It really hurts to bend, but yeah, we'll be fine. Um, we have the McLean Dover tomorrow, and then that's it. We have one more week and weekend here, but next week's gonna be great because it's winter break and it's also W what is it WCHR week or whatever. So I'm gonna help all week with my trainer, who is the world professional champion. So shall be fun. Okay, guys. Now it is Sunday. Um, I was this is me going in for my clay. I first I just didn't really vlog that much on Sunday or at all. I didn't film anything. It was kind of a busy day, and you'll see in like a week or two, hopefully, why, and I'll be able to explain that to you. Um, but for now, we're just back with the voiceover. So I pick up my canner, go around. Um, I get on a good canner, but not 
two open so that I still have room to move up because this first line is quite a forward five. So jump in well, keep moving up for the five, and then as soon as I land, I have this bending six, which is also really forward. So I had to really squeeze um, to that. We just made a nice turn. I went inside the outside line to get to this oxer in the middle because I wanted to hit it on a slight angle so that I could hopefully land on the right lead, um, which he did. But then I kind of had to fade out for nine, um, which was fine. It worked out. Then I needed to slow down a lot because there's a four jump line and it comes right off the rail. You can't really see but basically it was a 1 to a 3 to a 2. And normally he likes to take rails down and things like that, but he was pretty good and didn't. Um, this next oxer was okay. I got there a little deep, and he doesn't always like to come back. Um, so then I had to ride up really hard for the 8 down the middle. Um, and then I made a right turn, and I found a nice distance into this oxer because it was a bending 8 to a triple bar. Um, and he jumped that well, but we landed on the outside lead, so I had to canter quite forward to get there in time. Okay, then for my Dover, it basically starts backwards as the McClay did, so I had to write up this bending 6 to a 5. So I faded out a little bit so I could hit this jump on an angle so I can land right lead, which I did. Um, and then I just kept going for the 6, so I wanted to get straight to the ox or the, so that the 5 was lined up and I wasn't jumping too far out left. Um, and then I just went right around the jump at the top to jump this ox or thing that was on an angle. Um, and then I just took the inside track of the 2 stride to get to the CWD um, jump road straight. There was an oxer, but I didn't walk it for a bending line because it was so far away. So I just kind of kept going to that. It was like all the way at the other ring, or end of the ring, as you can see right there. Um, and then here's where it gets tricky. So I got a little slow right here, trying to fade out to this butterfly jump. So then I literally had to gallop down to the triple bar, and we got there very long, but he was so good and jumped incredible over it and cleared it. Um, and then made a turn because I was so fast there I had to slow down here which didn't look as great to the two and then to the three and then to the one um, and then after that I just slowed down a little bit and finished on a single coming towards um, the gate and we actually finished eighth in the Dover so that was pretty good